Welcome back to the Sam Lasan Show, folks. Remember, uh, Tom Ecking Mountain Spring Water is the official water of Samson Productions, SSP TV. Folks, if they don't have this water, where you buy your water, ask for Tom Ecking Mountain Spring Water. It's fantastic. My guest is Dr. Victor Greco, talking about this 1,000-page health insurance plan. Uh, remember, folks, uh, this is a show that you can see on our internet anytime, 24-7. Just go to our website, ssptv.com. Click on the Sam LaSanne Show slash Dr. Greco and you can watch this. This is a show that a lot of people should be watching. We're talking about this health insurance plan. Vic, you got a thousand pages. And my question to you is, as you're making these statements and all of the things that's happening, you know, when he ran for president, he said that, you know, uh, you know, look, he won, you know, big. Uh, he had a, a lot of intelligent people, friends of mine, acquaintance of mine who I... Um, who said they were supporting Obama, that they wanted Obama, he was going to be the answer to our, our country, uh, he was going to resolve Iraq, he was going to resolve uh, Afghanistan, he was going to be God Almighty, he's going to do everything, okay? Now what happens is things are happening, his popularity is beginning to decrease, That's okay, right. and probably even go further down, but he sold us a bill of goods, I think. I think there's a conspiracy going on in this country, uh, and my question to you is this. There are a lot of intelligent people in the Congress. I mean, I, I would think so. I think um, if if you're talking about all these things, and we're and we're going to talk about how this is going to affect senior citizens, which is going to be critical, terrible. Uh, don't they see what you're seeing, Victor? They see it, but you must remember that the legislative branch, whether it's in Harrisburg, state capitals, any place, and especially now we're talking about Washington, is a very close clique and a close club. These people do not live in, live in the real world. Do not live in the real world. The only contact they have with their constituents is once in a while when they come back and are running for election, they go around to the various places holding a couple town meetings. But they don't, they don't know what the average Joe is going through. They have the best of everything. And there's an old adage in politics and in business. If you want to get along or go along, you've got to get along. If you want to succeed, you've got to get along with the party. You must also remember that the liberals have been out of power for many, many years. Now that they've come back in with Obama, whom I happen to call the Pied Piper, he has a tremendous voice, he blows the flute, and all the people oh, fall him into the ocean absolutely. of desperation and they're going to drown. Absolutely. This is exactly what's going on. Absolutely. He's a hollow suit. Yep. He has a wonderful speaking voice. Yep. If his teleprompter goes out, he's lost. Yep. But as far as his actions, he doesn't follow through. He can't. Everything he said, as you so well stated, everything he stated he was supposed to do, he hasn't done. That's right. He's back to the old policies. Mm -hmm. Now, in answer to your question, if I may get personal for, uh, for a time, when I testified for one of the Senate committees, and they asked me, well, Dr. Greco, what health plan do you think we should have? I said, the same health plan you people have. Well, they were aghast. Do you realize that they have a doctor on call all the time down in the basement of both houses if anything happens. They have a health plan which is second to none. Are they willing to accept the same health plan that they want to give the American public? The answer is no. A couple have been asked, they've been honest enough to say no. We have our own health plan. Well, why not allow the American public to take the health plan that they want, the health plan that they have? Why must you shove this down their throats? It's because and answer their question, they're not in touch with reality. They think they're gods. They can't be touched. But what happens, Victor, is this, okay? You know, you, you, you people listening to this show, yes. and they're going to say, okay, well, they'll have mixed emotions. Uh, yeah, he's a doctor. You know, he did well. Uh, what does he care about people who don't have insurance? The doctors are selfish. They're greedy. Uh, and so now, good, let's give it to them because they, they're terrible, okay? And this is what this guy said. We want to redistribute the wealth. Uh, so you work hard and you do what you can in life and he wants to take it from you and then he wants to run your life. It's okay if you don't have anything and if you're a, uh, uh, you know, a bum in the streets and you don't want to work and you want to live off the, off the people who work, it's okay. And that's why they like him, okay? But when you get successful and you worked hard, all of a sudden you got hit by that, then you realize, wait a minute, this is the way it should be. Okay, so now we want to talk about a guy who says we're, we must redistribute the wealth. He said that. Yes. Okay. People bought it. Millions of people bought it. Yes. Why? Because if you can get something for nothing, you love that individual. Nobody, everybody, everybody loves a gift. And I'll never remember, I'll never forget, rather, 
when the French diplomat came to America to study democracy. And when he went back and gave his speech before the French legislature, and they asked, what is this democracy all about? He said, it is a great form of government, but it will cease being a government when those people who are working can no longer support those people who refuse to work and want the benefits of their labor. It's right on. Jefferson said the same thing? Absolutely, as did Ben Franklin. Yes. And people do not realize there's no free lunch. If you want something for nothing, you're giving something up, and that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, that's the, that's the, the thing that bothers me. We talk about, uh, you know, the, the most powerful voices in the country, I think. People are living longer, thank God. Hopefully their quality of life will be better, and this is what the whole thing is. He, he's impressing people that this health care program is going to be good for everybody. I was in Italy re uh, recently, and they have, they have socialized medicine there. The driver who was driving me was a young guy, he's 48 years old. He needed something, uh, he needed heart, uh, he had something with his heart. Right. He had to wait, like you said, he had to wait, right. I think it was about eight months. Right. Okay. Now, if he had the money, he would be go right in. That's right. And this is what the American people don't, uh, uh, don't realize That's what's right. going to happen. Uh, getting back to why, why did this happen? The senior citizens today should be in outrage. They should be furious of what's going on. I mean, they should be ringing that phone. Ken Jorsey should be getting calls like he can't believe. Senator Casey and Senator Specter should be getting calls like that can't believe because this is going to be a disaster for them. Explain to us, okay, after this break, why senior citizens, 65 and older, are, getting, are, are, are at risk here, okay? Uh, and, of course, we have the old thing about in this health insurance program, if you are a, uh, a pro-life person, uh, and he, uh, the, the abortions in this as well, yes. okay? Folks, this is a disaster. Uh, I know it's uh, me picking on Obama again. No, I'm not. In fact, folks, remember I said a while ago that we should pray for this president? Believe it or not, I was handed this yesterday by What's Your Name, a prayer for the conversion of President Obama. They actually have a prayer out for this guy. And I said this, Vic, on my show. I pray for the guy. They have a prayer out for this guy. Wow. We'll be back right after this.